Um, so we're going to make several little videos. This one's going to be just the digestive system in the shark. Um, but I want to go ahead and remind you guys that I sent that email that has all the charts with all the answers that you need to know. You need to know everything that is on the charts. Okay, but the things that you need to know how to identify, I have sent you a list of them in that same email. So while I'm going through these, I might go over uh, organs or arteries that you don't specifically have to know because they're not listed in there. So you're just going to have to forgive me because it all, there's a grand scheme and greater picture. But you only have to know how to identify the things that I specifically listed on those sheets. Okay? All right. So the digestive system in the shark, it all starts with the mouth. Uh, remember that they only have mechanical digestion in the mouth. There is no salivary amylase. They basically gulp or just like grab their prey. The food then goes down into the stomach. So this is the stomach. This is a female. She has recently eaten because I can feel it in there. I'm not going to open it for you though, guys. You're just going to have to live with that one. Okay, so this is the stomach. And in the stomach is what's called gas gastric juice. And gastric juice is made up of acids, bicarbonate ions and hydrochloric acid that is essentially turning the food into mush. Okay, the food then goes through what's called the pyloric sphincter. The pyloric sphincter is in here. It's basically just this muscle that expands to control the passage of food from the stomach into the duodenum of the small intestine. So remember the duodenum is just the first portion of the small intestine. Now in a shark, the small intestine is actually called the spiral valve intestine because it makes the spirals on the inside. But though its intestine is not nearly as long as ours is, the function remains the same. The intestine is increasing the surface area for absorption. So absorption occurs in the small intestine. The food then travels into the colon. So the colon for the shark would be just this little portion down here where water is being absorbed uh, before the excrement is then released through the cloaca. So remember that in sharks and mud puppies, both products from the digestive system and the excretory system are being released through the cloaca. Now let's talk about their accessory digestive organs. Um, so the first accessory digestive organ is the liver. So here's this female's liver. Um, remember that the function of the liver is to detox the blood, but it also produces bile, and bile gets stored in the gallbladder. So this is the gallbladder right here. Okay. And what I want you guys to notice is that it looks essentially like a blister. Okay. In some cases, it might be green, like in this shark here. The gallbladder is actually green. You see how it's green right there? The gallbladder is actually green, and that's because bile is a green substance. But it's not always going to be green, so don't purely rely on that. Okay? But it will, however, always look like a blister. So this is the gallbladder right here. Notice how it's not green. Okay? So bile is stored in the gallbladder before it's released through the common bile duct, which is then in this area right here, to the duodenum. Okay, the next accessory digestive organ would be the pancreas. The pancreas, <laughs> you know, it's disgusting, is right here. This is the pancreas right here. Now remember, when in doubt, the pancreas is always on or near the duodenum, and this is because the pancreas are releasing digestive enzymes through the pancreatic duct into the duodenum specifically. So there's always on or near the duodenum. Okay, so that's the pancreas. Another thing about the pancreas is that in most other organisms, it looks like a chewed up piece of gum. That's not the case for sharks. Um, but in like the mud puppy and the cat and even humans, it looks like a chewed up piece of gum that someone just chewed and spit out into the body cavity. Okay. Uh, the next digestive accessory organ is the spleen. Now I know the spleen is, uh, the function is in producing, storing, and breaking down red blood cells. And for the shark at least, it's the main part of the shark immune system, but it also is considered an di accessory digestive organ. And one thing you can count on is for the spleen to always be at, near, or on the stomach. Okay, notice how it's in the shark at the very lower end of the stomach. Okay. And the last accessory digestive organ would be the rectal gland down here. This is just also called the salt gland. It collects salts. 
That is essentially the function of the rectal gland. Okay? All right. 